Hello and welcome to this 40 Wizard video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to log to a 40 Analyzer on FortiGate. To demo this, I've configured a FortiGate VM64 running 40OS version 726 along with a 40 Analyzer VM64 running version 724. To simplify the configuration, I put both the FortiGate and 40 Analyzer on the same LAN. On the FortiGate under Network, then interfaces, you can see I've given port 2, which has an alias of LAN, an IP of 10, 151.76. Coming over to the 40 analyzer under system settings, then network, you can see I've given port 2 on the 40 analyzer an IP of 10, 151.40. There are multiple ways that you can configure 40 analyzer logging. My preferred method is to go onto the 40 gate and then enter the IP of the 40 analyzer. So coming over to the 40 gate, you'll see a section called security fabric. Click on that, then click on fabric connectors. Under logging and analytics, you can currently see that 40 analyzer logging is disabled. Click on this, then click on edit. It will now bring up this logging settings window. Under settings, 40 analyzer, you see status is currently disabled. You want to set that to enabled. You'll now see that there are some more options shown, such as server, connection status, upload option, allow access to FortiGate REST API, and verify 40 analyzer certificate. I'm currently configuring a 40 analyzer on-premise VM. However, if you want to enable 40 analyzer cloud, this would be under the cloud logging tab. The last step on this window is just to enter the IP of the 40 analyzer. I'm just going to head over to the 40 analyzer, copy the IP, and I'm just going to paste it in the server field, then hit OK. I now see a prompt asking me to verify the serial number of the 40 analyzer. This is obtained from the 40 analyzer's certificate. If you don't know the serial number of your 40 analyzer, this can be viewed under system settings and dashboard. However, I know that this is the correct serial number, so I'll click accept. I'll now show you how to enable reliable logging. Head back over to logging and analytics. You'll see we get a prompt that says the FortiGate is currently unauthorized on the Forti Analyzer. This is normal and to be expected as we've not authorized the FortiGate on the Forti Analyzer yet. So you can just click cancel on this message. Head over to info, edit in CLI, then type get then a pipe, grep, reliable. You see currently reliable is set to disable. To enable reliable, all we have to do is type set, reliable, enable. Then type show, and we see reliable is now set to enable. To save it, type end. All we have to do now is authorize the FortiGate on the Forti Analyzer. Come over to the Forti Analyzer under device manager and unauthorized devices, we can see the 40 wizard FortiGate is currently unauthorized. All you need to do is right click, then click authorize. I don't have ADOMS configured, so there's only one named root. We'll hit OK. The FortiGate is now successfully authorized. The FortiGate will now be visible under all logging devices. Now we'll need to wait a minute for the FortiGate connectivity to come up. Connectivity between the FortiGate and Forti Analyzer is now up. Moving my mouse over the up arrow, I can see when the logs were last received. In this case, it was zero minutes ago. Because we enabled reliable logging on the FortiGate, encrypted transmission is now enabled. FortiGate logs should now be visible on Forti Analyzer. Let's come out of Device Manager and go into Log View. Under FortiGate Event System, I can now see some FortiGate logs. So we know the connectivity is working. You can even see a log that says connected to 40 analyzer. Lastly, I'm just going to go onto FortiGate and check the connectivity on there. So under security fabric, fabric connectors, logging and analytics, I'm going to click edit. I can see that the connection status is connected and I also see that there is some logging usage. There is also a command that can be run to test the 40 analyzer connectivity on FortiGate. Coming over to the CLI, I'm going to type execute log Forti Analyzer test connectivity. I can see registration is registered, connection allow. I can see that there's a serial number of the FAS, also there's 48 device ideas here. 
and you can see it's got all the ADOM disk usage, analytics usage, and much more. Thank you for watching this Fortivisor video. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe.